Hey, Chad, Tackle Express. Uh, Mike from Dead Horse Baits makes a great craw bait uh, called the Lone Star Bait. Uh, has these uh, tentacles that come out of the side of it. It's actually molded into it. And then he's got some great eye features on there. It's a it's a nice bait. It's a really well made bait. Different colors. Uh, he has four or five different colors. And he recommends uh, one of the methods that he recommends is using a owner eight dot beast hook, uh, a weighted one. So I wanted to show you how to do that. First thing you want to do is remove this little tail section here. Uh, just take a knife and cut out this middle section here. You can also cut the entire thing off if you wanted to just cut it like that and cut the entire thing off. You can do that too. Um, I kind of like doing it this way. Um, just gives it a little more realistic uh, appearance to it. So with the screw lock, the owner ones have a centering pin on them. Uh, that centering pin makes it so much easier to screw in. So you just put the centering pin in the middle where you want it to go. Push and just twist the bait right on. And... It's super easy, just uh, just goes right in. And then what you wanna do is you wanna look at where the hook ends up uh, in relation to the bait. So when I, hit, when I put the hook there against the bait, this where my thumb is here, this part of the shank is actually where it has to go through the plastic. So in order to get it to go through the plastic, I have to bend the bait in order to get it to go through right there. So what I like to do is hold the hook up to it put my thumb where I know it needs to go through. And then as I go through in the back, I line it up with my thumb, get it in the middle of the bait. And you wanna make sure it goes straight up through the bait this way. You wanna make sure you don't go at an angle to the bait. And straight up through, poke it through, straighten it out a little bit. And there you can see it sits perfectly straight on there. Uh, there's no curvature to the bait being pulled by the hook because it was put in the wrong position. If you go too far, it'll crumple the bait up. If you go not far enough and you go further back toward the back, as you go through it, it's gonna stretch the bait out. So it's nice and relaxed, it's good to go. Um, one other thing that you can do to make it a little more weedless if you need to, is to tuck the point. The way I have it shown here, where the point is exposed, allows it, when you set the hook, for the, the bait to move away and for the penetration into the fish's mouth much easier. But like I said, if you're catching grass and catching stuff, you can tuck it, uh, you just pull up on the bait and just tuck the point under. That way the grass and uh, won't, won't catch it at all. But most of the time I like to just fish big craw baits with an open hook. Uh, as it sits on the bottom, because I'll show you on the side, because of the hook belly being so deep, it actually works really well uh, and it's such a big bait. So what it ends up doing is it ends up putting the bait up in a defensive position and making it look like you know something's coming at it which looks more realistic also what you can do is you can get little foam sticks at a craft store cut off a little piece of a foam stick i don't know what they use them for in a craft store but you just shove a little foam stick into each uh claw and it, that little foam stick will make those um float up and making it even more realistic and it'll actually move up and down if there's any current or as you move it so that's how you rig the uh, Dead Horse Lone Star Craw with uh, ADOT Beast Hook. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you.